I didn't get into beekeeping. Mm, yeah, I'm still in housekeeping. Why are you in housekeeping? Because you're sweeping up my, my bee area? You can't, the bees can't work if it's messy. I've just been cleaning up some equipment. I'm gonna hopefully make some splits this morning, this afternoon. Today is February 20th, and uh, this box, stack of boxes, always been my strongest. I guess this is just a good spot, so I'm putting another set there of three hives. See if I can get close enough to some blooms to show you. That's what they're foraging on. So that's the bloom right now is the maple trees. Okay. Video in her, I cleaned it. <laughs> Welcome to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Funny that they corral the beetles in the top, building propolis around the circles in the holes. Pegboard top material is not a good idea. It's just some old junk we built years back and just never disposed of it. Trying to run them down out of this top box so I can remove it. There shouldn't be any brood in it. There shouldn't be anything but honey, hopefully. Yeah, ripping open that drone brood. Not the strongest box I've ever seen, but they are strong for what they are. Right in this area. They're not building on this whole side of the box for whatever reason. But yeah, time to make a couple of new hives out of this one. Got lots of pollen in here, plenty of pollen. And lots of eggs, it looks like. Gonna have to get in some light so I can see. Oh yeah, lots of eggs and larva. Sweet, sweet. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh man, I love it. I'm excited. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do any splits. I was just opening it, to, opening it to see, but I got my equipment ready, so I'm going to split. I'm blowing the bees, so I'll move out of the way, and maybe you can see the uh, young larva down in there. They're very hatched from eggs. They're tiny, tiny little larva. If you can see the shine on the bottom of the cells, that's what that is. And I really don't know if you can see it right now until I look at it on the computer, so there we go. So how I'm doing this, I'm just going to split them up right now. Uh, typically, I would just snatch this box off. The top and, top and bottom are both being built in. So typically, I would just pull this one off, set it aside, and find the queen later because you can see the box is really strong. Finding the queen is going to be a chore right now. So if I don't spot her right away, I'm not going to waste a lot of time in the box. I'll split it and then check for queen cells in a couple days. Whichever box didn't get the queen will have queen cells in it. And I'll know that I can either add a queen to that box or let them build their own. But since at the current time I don't have a lot of bees to go through, I can spend a little bit of time in them. I'm not having to blast through them and get it done because I've got other boxes to go on to because I just don't right now. So. I'm gonna kind of slowly go through this one and see what I've got 
to see uh, how she's laying and if I spot her. And yeah, she's laying really good. There's a lot of brood in here. If you're going through a box like this looking for a queen or, or just working in the box and you happen to be spending a lot of time holding a frame out outside the box, especially one that's covered with bees like this and you don't know where the queen is, hold it over the box as much as you can. Come on. So you want to work your bees over your box as much as possible just in case you bump it and drop the drop the frame or knock the queen off you don't want to knock her off on the ground and step on her or lose her and so i just kind of stand a i stand my frame up on on top of the other frames like this and look and it saves your back a little bit too from standing there holding that frame up in the air i'm catching these at just about the right time there's quite a few drone uh areas of drone brood and this is the same same frame i've been looking at i'm gonna flip it over and show you how thick it is with brood on the back side of it the entire thing is solid brood so I was just going to do a two-way split on this box but the the more I get into it the more brood and the more bees I see I'm thinking three-way I'm gonna do yeah I'm gonna split them into three Probably could do four, but I don't have any queens to add to them yet, so they're gonna have to make some. And so I'm gonna bust them up into three. Taking a couple of frames out of the Honey Super for each box. I don't know if you can see that with the sun on this. It's all pretty well all capped. There is brood in the honey super too, so I'm gonna have to do something with that. But I'm gonna have at least two frames of honey in there to get them started off with. And then, of course, I'll have to swap those out for deep deep frames and I'll probably have to cut comb off the bottoms of them where they extend them out. But what I'm doing for a temporary solution to kind of try to discourage them from building on the bottoms of the combs, is I've got all my brood over here, you can see where the bees are. I got three empty frames one empty frame here and then i'm going to put the honey over here separate from the brood to hopefully discourage them from building brood comb on the top on the bottoms of this okay i got okay i got two two uh shallow frames with brood comb on them and i found the queen on one of those frames there she is right there on the corner i'm holding this one handed so i can't i hope you can pick her out let me try to get around here in the light and do just exactly what i said not to do and hang her over the dirt so i can step on her when i drop her <laughs> there she is right there on the top corner big caramel color Big old camel color gator tail. All right, now I know where she's at. I'm gonna move her to a new box and she is gonna find a home right here. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. I just bumped that frame. I have no clue if she hung on or not, but I was over the box when I did it, so we're cool. So let's put this, it was centered in that box that it was in. I'll center it in this one and I'll put the one that was next to it back next to it again. Alright, now we got a good box there. These two frames I'll end up having to cut out later because they'll build off the bottoms of them and extend comb on down to match the rest of it. I think I'm gonna look for one more brood frame to put in there with them. This other box here's got plenty of brood in it, a little bit of pollen and some honey. This whole bottom is uh, 
I imagine brood because it feels pretty light. I know most of the honey was up top. Well, the bottom box had no brood in it, just nectar and pollen. So I put a couple of uh, brood frames in there. Actually, I put one. No, I put two in there. I put one real strong brood frame and one with eggs on it so they can make another queen. And I'm fixing to pop the lid on this. I've got the queen in this box and I've got the most brood in this box along with pretty good numbers of bees. So I'm about to take these and put them on another yard for a couple days and then I'll bring them back over here and set them up where I want them. Don't you even be videoing me. <laughs> what you do? Did you build yourself in a corner? over here that should be able to get undone but since the thing is not level I can't get it undone. <laughs> there you go. Yeah well you just go ahead and send that out to the whole world and if that makes it easier it's not going to hurt you. <laughs>